The first quarterly release for Autodesk Moldflow Insight 2018 includes both noticeable and discrete enhancements in order to continue expanding our capabilities, enhance solution accuracy, and reduce time to solution. This release can be found under the Product Enhancement sections of your Autodesk account. And, as with previous quarterly releases, the 2018.1 version can be installed side-by-side -side with other versions of Moldflow. Within the Autodesk Moldflow Insight and Synergy 2018.1 releases, enhancements range between entitlement, leadership, and productivity, so today we'll step through those in more detail. There were some general changes in terms of token flex and licensing in Moldflow 2018.1. The Autodesk Token License, or TFlex license model, has been changed so that Moldflow Synergy and Insight have separate token requirements. This is a change from the combined rate of previous versions. Daily use of Synergy alone is 26 tokens, while use of Insight Ultimate is an additional 166 tokens, totaling 192 per day of running Synergy and Ultimate together. We've also extended the ability to run core deflection analyses to the Moldflow Insight and Standard license level. This enables all Insight users to now be able to simulate movement of cores for all mesh types due to pressures from the injection molding process in order to help with the prediction of thickness variations in the part. Enhancements to help guide feature usage have also been incorporated in this version of Moldflow. In the 2018.0 release, we introduced multiple barrel injection molding capabilities for both thermoset and thermoplastic materials. The functionality and accuracy of this simulation have been improved to provide a clearer workflow and better flow predictions. We are excited to announce that several enhancements have been incorporated to improve speed and productivity within the 2018.1's user experience. With enhancements made to Synergy, the speed and time to import large models has decreased about 20% from the initial 2018.0 release. Additionally, a 10% time reduction has also been included on items such as layer display, switching between studies, and overall selections such as mesh editing. We've removed offline help from the Autodesk Moldflow 2018.1 installers to facilitate a faster installation and smaller installation footprint. By default, Moldflow navigates to online help documents. However, if offline use is needed, it can be easily downloaded online. The default can then be changed to offline help instead within Moldflow's options menu, as with previous releases. The final productivity enhancement came from several users voting through the Autodesk Moldflow Idea Station. We have added enhancements to the connectivity diagnostic to allow for selection of beam elements on the gate to be compared against the part elements closest to them. It will now highlight in red the selected beam to aid in identifying disconnected elements. The final feature we'd like to announce is the release of Moldflow 2018.1 Technology Preview, also known as Project Scandium. The tech preview is available through the Autodesk Beta website and enables us to introduce new features that we are currently developing. A few features that we are excited to include in this preview are ejector force simulation, center line extraction from 3D cooling lines, and simple bubbler modeling. Additionally, underflow prediction in mid-plane mesh and a number of other fiber, flow, and warpage enhancements have been included. As with all tech previews, we appreciate any feedback on these new features to continue providing a great experience for using Autodesk Moldflow products.